What's going on guys, it's Geek Back again. So I got a buddy, Edgar, who recently sent a text out in our group chat saying he was thinking about getting a console when uh, one of the two big ones come out. I won't even say which one, but uh, we're gonna fix that. I got a bunch of PC parts laying around and we're gonna see if we can't put something together for him pretty cool. Let's do it. So this is what we got so far for the build for Edgar. The motherboard is a uh, AM3 motherboard. It came with Athlon 2 processor, uh, 2 core, 2 point something gigahertz. That's gonna get replaced. Here's the case, it's just a basic pre-built uh, Asus Asensio something or other, blah blah blah. That's gonna get changed. Obviously this is already taped up for paint. 300 gig hard drive I pulled out of a laptop, all the front I.O. from the case. I got a 750 watt power supply that I pulled out of another computer, which is totally overkill for this. Um, I actually already flipped the sticker, just the way it's going to sit in there. I hate stickers, so I don't know what I'm showing. Um, originally this only had the uh, cooler on the CPU, no other fans in the case, so I got a Cooler Master fan I'm going to fit in the front here and a, another 92 millimeter fan I'm gonna throw at the back of the case as an exhaust so that should help keep it down. We also got a piece of plexiglass something or other that I pulled out of a broken laptop cut out and make a side panel for. See we got some discoloration on the front panel here and the inside is that atrocious steel colored everything. Um, definitely some heat damage because like I said just the one fan in there when it was running. Let's go ahead and uh, get this ready for paint so I can start throwing some of the stuff in here and get ready for fitting. So while we're letting those pieces dry, we're going to prep our next pieces, get them ready for paint. One of them is going to be this one off-color front panel cable. The rest of them are black, which is fine. Not going to worry about that SATA cable. And then we're going to do something about our ketchup and mustard power supply. Now I already got that front panel connector taped up at the ends here. And basically, I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing to all the all of the power supply connectors. So let's have some fun with that. guys so we got everything taped up and from what I've seen when other people paint their power supply cables is the idea is we just want to keep paint from getting in to the connector part and in from underneath here so basically we're gonna hold them up when we paint so anything that does drip will go down and uh, yeah we're gonna see how it goes Thank you. 
All right, so here we go, guys. We got the uh, case out here. It is dry, um, and it looks a thousand times better than it did before. Same thing with our front panel I.O. shield. We did miss a few spots. There's a little bit on this I.O. shield here, and underneath, like right in this corner where the power supply is going to be, I missed a little spot, but it should be fine. It wouldn't be noticeable, and uh, compared to before, this is a night and day difference. I still got to take the tape off. All right, so next thing we're going to do is get the motherboard in here, see how it all uh, lines up and how it's starting to come together. I'm going to try to do this one-handed. Let's get the I.O. shield in here. Next up, we only have one motherboard standoff in here because the rest of these are actually built into the case themselves. So, drop it over in here. Shielding I.O. looks good enough. So next up on the to-do list, while we're waiting for the power supply to finish drying still, because I had to repaint it a couple of times, um, we got the front panel cover all taped up for painting. But before we do painting, we've got the fan here, and I've got it set up as an intake, but there are no holes on the front cover, so it's going to be just trying to suck through the gaps here. So I'm going to put a couple of holes in the front here. This is actually a trick I learned if you're going to drill plastic to keep it from chipping, is to uh, put some masking tape over it and just drill straight through that and it tends to keep it together a bit more. So uh, let's run out to the garage and get this thing drilled out. Alright, so I realized as I was throwing some stuff in here that I did not have the camera on and I wasn't recording for you guys. Um, so the power supply, the cables came out okay. Um, they actually look a lot worse with the light bouncing off of them like that than they do in real life. They actually look um, a little bit more black. But um, what I'm probably going to end up doing is just touching up any spots I come across with uh, Sharpie. Um, we got that front panel connector in there and painted, that guy there. Um, if I had to do it again, I probably wouldn't. I would just uh, get a power supply that was already black or get some extensions, but this case has no f***ing room for extensions. I'm going to have to figure out where I'm putting all these cables in the first place. Yeah, let's go ahead. I want to give this thing a test boot after all these have been painted just to make sure I didn't short anything out. Thank you. 
Alright guys, so we're back. It's actually the next day. And it's time for this guy to get painted. I'm just gonna head outside here. To a beautiful future wife. Say hi to YouTube baby. She is gonna be mixing up these paints. To She's the, I don't know how to feel about this, y'all. Paint this guy. It's probably were a real bad idea. Let's do it. 2020. Um. <laughs> we got blues and grays because it matches the motherboard. We're going for the, the motherboard. We're going for the as it were. All right, let's. Cthulhu, sea monster. Duh. Cthulhu, y'all. Duh. I mean, you know, Cthulhu. Look. I don't even know what the fuck made you mad. It's just an energy chase bag. Oh, I'm gonna have to. I'm sorry. Copy. Sorry. It's okay. That's what it is. I forgot about that part of all this copywriting. Hey, Edgar. Um, hey, Edgar. So I, I can't use a blowtorch on plastic. I've been informed. <laughs> so, um, in an effort to minimize fire, we're gonna just hope that some silicone will bring out some cool cells. Um, I make no promises. Also, you know, it's 2020. <laughs> no, I should make any promises. <laughs> so, I don't know how I feel about this. This is kind of scary. I'm hoping I don't mess it up. I'm, gonna ask the other side for some inspiration here. Uh, <laughs> we got we got all the blues of the motherboard. Right? Yep. Alright. Oh my god, I'm terrified to do this. It's so scary. Edgar, I'm really hoping this turns out cool, bro. Like I love you and I'm sorry. Alright. <laughs> I just I love you. I just want you to know that. So my guess would be you're gonna kinda wanna Drizzle over the top. These yeah, two I need pieces. to reverse this. Yeah, I'm doing it like this. Can I just do it? Like yeah, this? yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's just the way it should flow down. That's fine. Tomorrow. So it's a couple days later now, and we're getting ready to cut out this square panel. I got my stepdad Mike getting ready to help me. Thanks, Mike. And let's see how this goes. Inches later. Alright, so we got that bad boy cut out. Thank you again, Mike. And uh, yeah, I'm probably gonna file down these edges a little bit and put the strip of wire on the outside so that then you can't really tell at all that it was cut. And yeah, should look really good. Alright, guys, so we're back. And I didn't get this part on camera because I really wasn't sure how it's gonna turn out. But before we peel the tape, I added sweet little Cthulhu decal on the front of the case here. So uh, it actually turned out 
not totally terrible. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead. I'm gonna exacto knife off this tape, peel it off, and see how it all looks put together. Alright, so here we go guys, we got the panel, and what I actually did for this trim around here was I just took some uh, speaker wire, split it right long ways, pulled out the insides and then actually pushed that along the edges to get the trim nice and looking decent. We're still waiting on the paint to dry so I don't want to throw it on quite yet. We got the front panel on that actually looks fucking awesome. A little bit jealous, I'm gonna try to clean up the edges here with like a Q-tip and some alcohol before I send it off, but otherwise it's looking great. And there's the inside. Edgar actually dropped off his oh, video card that we're throwing in there. He was gonna get a six, uh, 1650 Super, but they were out of them at Micro Center, so guess what? He decided to upgrade. Um, it's still gonna, either way, it's gonna bottleneck that GPU until he's ready to upgrade. But as we are working on a budget, that's what we're going with. Eventually. The panel, it's pretty much dry. The trim didn't quite come out. It looks doesn't look as good on camera as it does in person, but it actually still doesn't look that great. But it came out. We'll see how it all goes put together. We're going to go ahead and put on the acrylic panel now, flip it over. I'm going to use the hot glue gun and go ahead and get it attached. One eternity later. All right, guys, so we're back again. We finally got a uh, shipment of our stuff, and I actually jumped the gun and threw some of it in here before we uh, started the camera. Already installed, we got our Molex 2 fan connector to get our front panel fan connected because there is only one chassis fan um, header on the motherboard here. So we'll just run that one off of Molex. And then we got uh, our SSD installed and ready to go along with our hard drive and also in today we got our extra four gig stick of ram i gotta track down the other stick that i know i have laying around we got our rear panel fan and we also finally got phenom 2 x4955 something like that i'll pop it up on the screen what it actually is um and we'll eventually swap that out but we are still waiting on thermal paste to actually finish putting this thing together and getting windows installed so i can put the uh chipset heat sink fans uh chipset fit heat sinks bip, 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 bip. so i can put the chipset heat sinks on there and then uh also obviously the cpu cooler um but yeah let's go ahead and get these guys in there for now we'll wait on the cpu until we get the thermal paste and let's do it Yeah. 
So here we go guys, we finally got our thermal paste in, so we can go ahead and uh, swap out our chip, get that in there, get our chipset fans on. I gotta take out our uh, graphics card because one of the chipset heat sinks is right behind here. Did I say chipset fans? Heat sinks. Get those in there and uh, I'll finally track down that other piece of RAM and either way I'm still waiting on one more thing before I hand it off to Edgar. And uh, while we're waiting on that, we'll go ahead and get Windows installed and do some benchmarks, see how games run out. So there we go guys, it's up and running. Um, and actually, if you can see, and you know what, let me take you in closer. That motherboard is not the same. And it turns out the one that I was going to use was totally shot. Tested it when I first got it. It booted into Windows fine, no problem. Took it apart for the case, started doing the work on this guy. And then uh, after I painted the power supply, I again tested, booted into BIOS, I didn't have a hard drive so I didn't bother going into Windows, but after that um, it would not go into Windows even with a hard drive. With the uh, thumb drive it didn't want to boot, um, BIOS kept giving me an issue with the battery, and I figured the battery was just old, it should be fine, it'd still be able to boot. Troubleshot it by trying another battery, that still didn't work. What we did was I had another pre-built. This was um, probably one of my favorite pre-builts ever, it's an HP Elite something or other. What I loved about it was the front panel I.O. and uh, it had all these cool input outputs for old video hookups which I'm actually I already took out I'm gonna save hold on to throw in my backup rig and use that for maybe capturing some old-school video game footage and shit like that but uh, yeah this was the motherboard donator which also meant that Edgar got an upgrade as far as the CPU goes I can't remember which one uh, yeah sure it's on screen right here like right what Bagger has now. It's a much better CPU. He's actually got uh, 12 gigs of RAM in there now, his 1660, and a much, much better cooler with an actual copper contact and heat pipes in there and everything. Uh, yeah, it looks pretty cool. Um, like I said, I've been waiting on one last thing for this, and it finally came in today. So, yeah, let's finish this puppy off. I was waiting for it was printer ink, so I could use this. Uh, clear sticker paper here to print off the last piece for Edgar's computer. We're gonna go ahead and stick it on the case there. 
and then he'll be good to go. That's it guys, she's done. Edgar's uh, Blue Cthulhu pre-built gaming PC is all complete. All things said and done. What would I do differently? I definitely wouldn't do the spray painted electrical wire as the trim. I would probably just go get some black rubber tubing and use that as the trim. Not as straight as I would like it and the, it's so shiny that it doesn't, it makes it look even less straight. In real life, not on camera, it doesn't look half bad, but anytime I try to take a picture or shoot it, it looks wavy. And for the power supply, I probably just wouldn't bother painting it. It was more of a headache than it was probably worth. I mean, it looks cool all blacked out from far away, but close up, you can tell it was spray painted. Other than that though, besides the motherboard, yeah, I'd probably do that differently. I would definitely test the motherboard a bit more before I decided to go ahead and throw it in a rig. I know the one that came out of my old pre-built is definitely good and should last him quite a long time. And he got a processor upgrade, he got a bit more out of it. Go check out Mods Tech's channel. Actually, he's the one I came across him on YouTube and was blown away by some of the things he was able to do with just regular pre-built PCs and uh, really, really made him nice. Um, I'll leave a link in the description to his channel. Edgar, buddy, love you. Let me know when you're ready. Come pick this bad boy up and uh, let's play some games, man. Later. <laughs>